Have you ever watched the market climb higher and higher, wondering exactly when that bullish run would finally come to an end, or seen prices plummet and wished you could pinpoint the exact moment when buyers would step back in? What if I told you there's a powerful tool that uses statistical probability to tell you when the market has a 100% chance of reversing direction? Let me show you exactly what happened here. We had a strong bullish trend pushing higher, but this incredible indicator was already signaling that the market had reached 100% probability of reversing to the downside. If you took a short position at this precise moment, place your stop loss above the most recent swing high, and set your take profit at 1.5 times your risk, you would have captured this entire profitable move down. But wait, there's more. Next, we had a bearish trend in motion. And once again, this indicator delivered its statistical signal showing a 100% probability of reversing to the upside. Taking a long position here, setting the stop loss at the swing low, and targeting a 1.5 times the risk for profit, would have resulted in another successful trade. This is the trend reversal probability indicator, and it's about to change how you approach trend reversals forever. This isn't just another lagging indicator that tells you what already happened. This is a statistical powerhouse that estimates the likelihood of trend changes using probability mathematics and custom oscillator technology. Let me walk you through what makes this indicator so effective. First, you'll want to head over to TradingView, open whatever trading security catches your interest. For this demonstration, I'm using this time frame of this pair, which provides excellent examples of how this indicator performs in live market conditions. Once you're set up, click on the indicators button and type in trend reversal probability. You're specifically looking for the one created by Algo Alpha. You might be wondering what exactly makes this tool so special. The trend reversal probability indicator is a sophisticated tool designed to help traders estimate the likelihood of trend reversals using statistical probability combined with a custom oscillator. What makes this particularly valuable is its ability to identify identify when a trend has become overextended and statistically due for a shift in direction. The beauty of this system lies in its simplicity, despite the complex mathematics running behind the scenes. Let me walk you through the key components that make this indicator so effective. First, we have the trend duration histogram, which represents trend duration in terms of statistical probability. When you see a green histogram, that's indicating an uptrend is in progress. Red histograms show you that a downtrend is currently dominating the market. Here's what's fascinating. This histogram can extend as high as mathematically possible, meaning the longer it extends upward, the longer that particular trend has persisted beyond normal statistical ranges. As these bars approach what we call the higher probability zones, the likelihood of a trend reversal increases dramatically. This brings us to the second crucial component of this indicator. The standard deviation levels are horizontal lines that represent statistical deviation levels of trend duration based on historical market data. These levels are where the real magic happens. Starting from the bottom, we have the 14% level, which indicates super low probability of trend reversal, essentially telling you the trend is still within its normal statistical range. Moving up, there's the 50% level, which indicates normal trend duration with no immediate reversal signals on the horizon. The 84% level represents our middle zone, indicating a moderately extended trend where a reversal could potentially happen soon. Then we reach the 98% level, which is our second highest zone, and indicates a very high probability of trend reversal. Finally, at the very top, we have the 99% level, the uppermost zone indicating extremely rare durations with the highest statistical likelihood of trend reversal occurring. These standard deviation levels work in perfect harmony with the trend duration histogram to create precise trade entry opportunities. When that green histogram grows and reaches the uppermost standard deviation level, it means the bullish trend has become statistically overextended based on historical market behavior. This suggests the trend may soon reverse to the downside, making it an optimal time to prepare for short positions. The same principle works in reverse. When the red histogram grows and touches that uppermost standard deviation level, it indicates the bearish trend has lasted longer than normal statistical parameters suggest. This signals the trend may soon reverse to the upside, creating an excellent setup for long positions. Remember, these are probabilistic signals based on statistical analysis, so it's always good practice to confirm with additional indicators like volume analysis, price action patterns, or moving averages before executing any trades. The third component is the reversal probability table, which displays real-time probability values of a reversal occurring. This table shows different probability levels in clear percentages, with higher numbers highlighted in red to indicate those critical danger zones where trend reversals become highly probable. Let's explore the settings of this indicator so you can understand how to optimize it for your specific trading style. After we cover the customization options, I'll show you exactly how to use this in live trading scenarios. The first setting is the oscillator length, which comes with a default value of 20. This
parameter controls the length of the custom oscillator that the indicator uses to measure trend strength and potential reverses. Here's what you need to know about this crucial setting. A higher value will smooth out market fluctuations, making reversals less frequent, but significantly more reliable when they do occur. A lower value makes the indicator react faster to price changes, increasing sensitivity but also potentially increasing false signals. Finding the right balance between these two approaches is essential for your trading success. The default setting of 20 provides an excellent starting point for most market conditions and timeframes. Next, you can enable probability levels, which activates those horizontal lines that help you visualize trend strength in real time. When this setting is enabled, the indicator calculates historical trend directions and overlays statistical probability levels to show you exactly when a trend has become overextended. You also have the option to customize colors for both bullish and bearish histograms, making the visual interpretation even clearer for your specific preferences. The Style tab offers several additional customization options, though the default values work exceptionally well for most trading scenarios. Here's how this statistical powerhouse actually works behind the scenes. The indicator first detects market momentum and direction using a dual SMA strategy combined with an RSI-like transformation. This creates a solid foundation for trend identification. Next, it tracks trend durations and calculates the average trend length across historical data, then plots those standard deviation bands we discussed to estimate when a trend has become statistically overextended. Using a cumulative probability function, it determines the likelihood of a reversal and displays those key probability levels in the data table. That might sound complex, but the practical application is beautifully straightforward, which is why we're going to jump directly into live training examples using this indicator combined with the MACD for additional confirmation. To create a robust trading system, we're going to add the MACD indicator as our momentum confirmation tool. After adding MACD to your chart, double click on it to access the settings. Here's an important step. Disable both the MACD line and the signal line, as we'll be focusing solely on the histogram for our momentum confirmation. Now let me walk you through the exact conditions for taking long positions using this statistical approach. Condition number one, you want to identify a bearish trend that's ready to reverse upward. How do you confirm this bearish trend? Simple. Look for a red histogram on the trend reversal indicator, which tells you the market is currently in downward momentum. Condition number two is crucial. You need that bearish trend to become statistically overextended to the downside. You confirm this by waiting for the histogram to move above the 99% standard deviation level. When this happens, it indicates the market has reached over a 99% statistical probability of reversing to the upside. Once you have these conditions met, you wait for the green histogram bar to appear on the trend reversal indicator. This green bar signals that the statistical reversal is beginning to take place, and it's time to start looking for long position opportunities. Here's where patience becomes your best friend. You don't enter immediately on a red candle just because you have a green histogram. You need both a green histogram on the indicator and a green candle on the price chart to increase the probability of upward price movement. The final condition involves confirming bullish momentum using the MACD. Look at the most recent histogram bar on the MACD and ensure it's also showing green, indicating sufficient upward momentum to support your trade. When you have green signals across all three elements, the chart candle, the trend reversal indicator, and the MACD, that's your entry signal for a long position. Place your stop loss under the recent swing low, target a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio and let the statistical probability work in your favor. Let me show you another practical example to solidify your understanding. Notice how the trend was clearly bearish, indicated by that red histogram on the trend reversal indicator. The bearish trend becomes statistically overextended when the red histogram moved above the uppermost standard deviation level, showing over 99% probability of an upward reversal. At this critical point, the reversal probability table displayed a 100% chance of the price moving upward. Now, 100% doesn't mean guaranteed. It represents the highest statistical probability based on historical data patterns. This is why we wait for additional confirmation signals before entering any position. Watch what happens next. The histogram shifts to green, and we align this with a green candle appearing on the price chart. Right here, you can see that green histogram bar on the trend reversal indicator, signaling the beginning of bullish momentum. Looking at the chart, that's our green candle confirmation. The final step is ensuring that on this specific entry candle, the MACD histogram bar is also also green, indicating strong enough bullish momentum to support our trade direction. With all conditions perfectly aligned, you take the long position, place your stop loss under the swing low, set your take profit at 1.5 times your risk, and let the trade run according to your statistical edge. For short positions, we simply reverse the process. Condition 1 requires ensuring the market trend is bullish by identifying a green trend duration histogram. Condition 2 involves confirming that this bullish trend has become statistically overextended to the upside by watching for the histogram to exceed the uppermost standard
standard deviation level, indicating over 99% chance of reversing to the downside. After reaching this statistical extreme, you wait for exhaustion of the bullish trend by watching for the trend histogram to shift from green to red. Next, examine the price chart to confirm the candle is also red. If it's still green, continue waiting until a red candle appears on your time frame. With a red candle in place, your final condition involves checking the MACD to ensure the most recent histogram bar is red, confirming sufficient bearish momentum for your short position. Execute your short position, place your stop loss at the most recent swing high, target 1.5 times your risk for the take profit, and let the statistical probability guide your trade to success. This systematic approach takes the guesswork out of trend reversal trading and replaces it with statistical precision that you can rely on consistently across different market conditions. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.